G'day guys, how are you going? Welcome back to the channel. Happy 2020. Today is just a very quick and hopefully to the point video of all the gear that I use. It's a setup tour. I know that you guys have been asking for this for such a long time now and I feel like I've now got the room to a point where I'm happy to sort of show you everything that I use on a day-to-day -day basis to make videos where I spend a lot of time gaming and streaming. And so we're just going to go through and I guess talk about each piece and, and why I picked that particular product. So if we start off um, on this side of the wall, which is probably not the most interesting thing to you, we've just got some wall art that is actually really dear to me. It was actually given to me as a present this year for Christmas. Um, Isle of Dogs, if you haven't seen that movie, definitely go out and see it. But I think it's actually something that provides a really cool backdrop for when I'm streaming, or it would just be a little bit more interesting than just having a plain white wall. Then in terms of the lighting gear that I use, so this is um, just two basic cheap no-name light boxes that were from eBay. These are about $150 for the pair, um, which come with some soft covers on there. And then on the back of the actual lights, if we turn these around, you will see that they have um, some little dials here so you can adjust the color temperature, um, which is nice to have. So these I believe are about $150 from eBay. And with all of the stuff that I talk about in this video, all the different products and all the little um, gizmos that I have, I'm gonna leave links to all of that down in the description. So if you do wanna go and check that out or buy any of it, um, you'll know where to get it. I try and buy everything as cheaply as possible, um, hence why I got the, you know, the no-name lights. Then coming around to this side, we've got a little chest of drawer here. So this chest of drawer is actually a chest of drawers from Ikea um, in this nice blue color. I think it's linoleum, that's the type of material that it's made of. And these drawers just basically have all of our stationery. They have things like our game controllers, a bunch of different random cables, um, adapters for different things, power bricks, battery banks, hard drives, USB adapters everything and anything and then it also provides as a really good um, place for me to put my pc on top of so it's not sucking up all the dust from the carpet so this is my gaming editing and streaming um, pc so it's a little bit outdated but the specs of this particular model so this is the ryzen 5 2600 cpu it's got an AMD Gigabyte RX 580 with 8 gigabytes of uh, video RAM. We've got some G-School Triton Z RGB memory. We've got 16 gigabytes of that at 3000 megahertz. And then we've got an SSD boot drive, a standard hard drive for storing all of my games. Um, and then the motherboard in there is the, I think it's the ASUS X570 Pro motherboard. Um, and then the case, the case is obviously blinged out with all of the RGB. It's the Deep Cool Matrix 70 at RGB 3F um, with the deep cool all-in-one CPU cooler, which is I think a, a 360 mil rat, which keeps everything really quiet. And actually even under a full load when I'm gaming or streaming or stress testing or whatever it is, um, this machine never gets too loud. The fans are all set to spin at about 20 or 30%. So it's got this little gentle hum, but when I'm streaming, it's really important to have something nice and quiet, which is why we have this full tower with a lot of fans spinning very slowly, which keeps the temperatures down and also the noise down as well. Now the desk. So the desk is something that I've um, had for a little while now. I've actually done videos about this desk as well. This is the Ikea Bacant desk, which goes up and down. And then I've got everything essentially mounted to it. So here we have, this is something I've recently got. This is a ring light from Newer. Um, it was at $45 from eBay. That's including the shipping in Australia. And what it can do is you can mount your webcam. So here I've got a Logitech Brio 4K webcam and I've got a, um, obviously the ring light going around it and I've got some knobs here on the front so I can actually turn the brightness up and down or I can you know mix the color temperature if I want to do that I can easily you know swivel the webcam or you know tilt it if I want to do that as well so this is something that just has a C clamp and just clamps to the desk really easily and simply and when I'm streaming just provides a bit of extra light on my face um, especially at night time when it's a bit darker so this is actually something that's made a huge difference with my live streams and I think if you are live streaming or you know going to take um, maybe a step in that direction then this is something that you might want to invest in and it doesn't cost too much money the actual screens themselves so this HP screen is just a basic office screen that I picked up 
for nothing and it's in portrait mode mounted to a monitor arm so I can move these around as I want. I have it in portrait mode though so that way I can read the chat um, which is coming through and I don't have to worry about sort of scrolling up and down. I can have quite a bit of it um, on the left hand side and then my main screen is from LG. So this is a 4K LG IPS gaming panel. It's only a 60 hertz free sync monitor which is perfectly fine for me. I'm not doing competitive gaming or anything like that. Although I maybe would want to get a 144 hertz monitor um, in the future. But for video editing, for gaming, for consuming media, this screen was actually a really good buy at the time. I picked this up for around about five or $600 um, here in Australia. And then the microphone. So this microphone is from Thronmax, which I've done videos on everything that I've got basically on my desk. I think I've done a video on at one point or another. So the Thronmax Endure One on the Thronmax Boom Arm, um, really, really good piece of kit. And so when I'm standing here and streaming, this basically just hangs over, picks up my voice nice and clear. It's a simple just USB, uh, USB Type-C microphone, so it doesn't require a mixer or anything like that. It just simply plugs into the USB port on my uh, on my PC um, peripherals so the peripherals I've chosen I've chosen for a reason I've actually always first of all loved Logitech products I've been a big fan of their mice ever since I've been using like their MX518 um, but this is the Logitech G613 wireless mechanical keyboard um, the mouse I'm using is one that a lot of people love it's the Logitech G Pro wireless mouse and then the headset is um, the Logitech G935 wireless gaming headset. So everything for my peripherals at least that makes gaming and editing possible is wireless. And the reason why I've done that is a couple reasons. A lot of the time this desk is being used for building computers or pulling things apart or we might be framing posters in frames and use this as a workspace. So it's really easy and convenient just to pick everything up and put it down on the floor or on a chair. Um, but the other cool thing about it is that if I'm live streaming and I want to move out of the frame or if I want to maybe turn on the air conditioning or grab a drink, I can literally just walk away with the headset still on and still hear what everything is going on or hear the music that might be playing. Um, but it just also means I don't have to think about cables. Quite often I get up off the chair and if I've got cables attached, I'll rip them out of the headset. Um, and risk damaging the table and risk damaging the headset um, and same goes with my mouse and keyboard sometimes I want to move it really quickly and I just don't even think and I end up almost snapping or breaking something so wireless peripherals now have gotten to the point where they're so good the latency is, is so great that um, I just really don't think that there is any need to go cable um, unless you're worried about the battery life and those kind of things. But for me, everything's rechargeable. The keyboard's meant to last two years on double A's. Um, so I think this is a really good combination. Maybe not the one for you, but this is just what I use and, and why I use it. And then on this side, we have the iMac. So um, if you didn't know already, both myself and my girlfriend who's behind the camera shooting this video, we worked at Apple at one point in our lives for quite some time and so We've got a bit of a mixed household. I'm a PC guy, um, but she's an Apple person, so she has an iMac. This is the 5K 27-inch iMac. We do a lot of video editing on this as well. It's really good for color grading. The panel is much, much um, better for doing color grading and that kind of work, so that's why we have it here. And it's also great because we can both work together um, on a project on this desk and not feel like, um, I guess, we're bumping into each other or in, our, in each other's way, sorry. So, Really, really cool computer. I think it runs a 7700K RX 580 as well, um, 16 gig of RAM, and then you know her peripherals again, Logitech wireless keyboard, Logitech mouse. So that way, if we just need to move things out of the way quickly, uh, we can do that. Around this side of the desk, if I just turn around, um, we've got some lighting. So this is like an RGB strip that we mounted to the desk so we can basically illuminate the back of the wall. It's kind of hard to see at the moment, being that it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, but then also in the back, if you want to come in and have a look, we've got like an RGB LED bulb. Um, that base is like a marble base that we got given as a, as a gift. Um, and I can control the lighting for the desk with a remote, or if I want to control the lighting, I can actually just do that with my mobile phone. So every time I'm live streaming or doing an unboxing for a product, I can just change the lighting and that will actually just show through the video nicely and it allows us to create different looks um, without changing too much. 
Um, and then obviously underneath we've got a couple chairs here. Um, but this is pretty much all of the streaming, gaming, editing setup for everything that I do here every single day. And the only thing that you really can't see in here is I actually have a, a NAS which is for storing all of my media, which is connected via the network, uh, which I won't show you where that is because it's actually out in a different part of the house, but that's actually all networked through. There's actually a little wall out like down the bottom there uh, where we have our battery banks, but there's a little network cable that goes into a switch. So under this desk, we have all of the power boards, all of the power cables. I might actually be able to raise this a little bit more and you can see we've got like this net here, which basically contains, um, I guess, the spider's nest of cables and everything else. Then the last part is this big cupboard behind me, which, I mean, I'm not going to open for you because it's a bit of a mess. It's actually where I keep a lot of my clothes, um, but I've also got a lot of products that I am yet to review that will be coming out on the channel in the future. So I'm going to keep this closed for that reason. I don't think you need to see what's inside of my cupboard. I think you're more interested in what's inside the studio. Um, so let's, I think, finish up the video. Hopefully this is interesting to some of you, a lot of you, I don't know. I know that you guys have been asking for this kind of content from me for some time. Um, I think the room is actually really, really cool. I really like the space. It's um, something that I've always wanted to have. And in our last apartment, it was a little bit too cramped to have it all set up like this. Um, but in this room, it's absolutely amazing. So if you like this video, hit the like button, get subscribed. Um, if you wanna have any chats about this, when I do live streams, you're more than welcome to come on and ask me questions and I'll, I guess, do my best to answer those for you. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.